Hello everyone, I'm very happy to be here in Tiziano Autera's studio in Freifold in the canton of Turgau in Switzerland. Tiziano is a Swiss talented cubist artist, but not only that. He studied graphic design and illustration, but at the age of 20, he decided to become a freelance artist creating his own style. And now he is only 28 years old, but has already exposed in numerous international exhibitions in New York, Dubai, London, Milan, Austria and Switzerland. And today I have a great pleasure to interview him. Hello, Tiziano, how are you? Hello, Glady, I'm good. I'm happy you're here. And you? Very happy too. Thank you very much. When did you start drawing? Well, I started as a child. Uh, my father drew a lot. Uh, so I grew up into this kind of art stuff. Like I grew up around art pieces and in the studio of my father where he made some uh, like restoration of old furniture and old paintings and stuff. And he did also a lot of wood wooden sculptures and things. So yeah, I saw this stuff and I learned a lot uh, in drawing and making sculpt plastic plastical work and things out of different materials, yeah. Did your parents help you follow your dream or were they afraid about it because you were very young? Well, I went away from home very young, so I, I did most of all by myself. Like I learned from my father a lot of technique stuff and with materials and how to handle colors and, and wood and chalk and everything like, uh, yeah, I, I learned a lot in working things and on things, but like uh, exploring the art world, like growing up in like helping myself with money and things I did all by myself because I went away from home very young like 19 maybe and then I started uh, in a room where I slept and 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 worked in the same room in a uh, kind of cultural center um, yeah there everything like started for me to after I studied of course uh, there everything started for me to be like an independent artist and I started to participate on small group exhibitions. Yeah, so yeah, I can say like I built always everything by myself, like from very small to where I'm now, like I'm, the way I'm going now, yeah. And if my parents were afraid, yes, Somehow, yes, because I was very young and I mean, the art world is like something you don't know if you're going to make it happen, you know, like you just, you need to be pretty strong, like you have to walk through things that, or through moments where you don't know how you can keep going, like you don't know how to go, how to earn money and like, you start to being very creative in your lifestyle too. Like you start to earn money somehow, you start to sell things, you start to uh, reduce your lifestyle to the limits, like just to, to, the, mo to the like basic things, like you need a place to sleep, to live, and to properly work on your artwork. And that's all like my life since I started like being an independent artist was really like I reduced it to the max like I only had what I need so this learned me a lot to focus on what I want to do and to like focus on my work and yeah.
She studied graphic design and illustration. After that, you worked for different companies. What made you realize that art was going to be your work? Well, I worked in the design area, like graphic design and stuff. Uh, my dream was to be an uh, industrial designer, like drawing bikes, cars, like giving a form to something, like to a product. And I always liked also fast things, but at the end I realized that art is like the only place where you really can go your way like you don't have to respect some borders of some kind of client requests or something like this like and it, it don't has to be always functional it's more like spiritual and more like deeper in the meaning of where we come from and what we are doing and what we feel and what we see and what we like or whatever what I want and what I feel like about my life it's like more it's not like a material working you only materialize your idea of how you see things but not more like in design is like giving more for me uh, um, a function to something and make it uh, beautiful and then I realized this so I decided to make art. Who discovered your talent? Well myself. <laughs> 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 well, well I mean I'm working with uh, the gallery WOS uh, and one of the gallerists uh, Daniel Warenberger he like discovered my work like four or five years ago and two and a half years ago or three years ago we started to work together. Yeah, like he was the first bigger gallerist who really took me and tried to do something with me. Like he was like someone I can say he discovered me and like put some energy in my work to, to help me to sell and bring me to the art fair. When uh, did the desire to draw coupes of Geometric and Four was born? Well, this came out from my, a bit my interest for technical drawings, for technical machines and uh, industrial design and all this stuff and also from arch architecture um, and uh, yeah all that stuff I always liked so and also by looking at a lot of art I figure out that I really like cubism because of this construction kind of drawing things like very sculptural, sculptural kind of drawing things like they are like a sculpture but they are not like they are painted that's what I really liked about cubism that's why I, I went that way and out of that I started to develop this um, uh, these shapings from these cubistic forms I did the things I'm doing now, like my, 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 my portrait, mostly I paint portraits, uh, are like put together in the same way like a uh, cubistic painting is put together, but it's more like shaped in a different way, like more round forms and more like, um, yeah, it's more like, uh, how you say? Not so geometrical, but yeah, more like natural somehow, yeah. Which artists influenced you in your work? Well, uh, there were a lot. I mean, I looked at a lot of art, especially in my younger age. Like, I'm still looking at a lot of art on Instagram and stuff. I look also at a lot of young artists, actual, in my age, artists. Uh, artists who work a lot and do a lot of stuff and creating very unique and interesting work like 
but there were also older artists like Picasso, Francis Bacon. There is something from everyone, like doing Matisse, Cezanne. There are so many. I mean, yeah, I, I, I looked at a lot of art in my life, of course, but I also just was in, I, I've been inspired also by things, not only art, like things I see, like shapings, and I, I like shapes, I like, I like um, sculpture, I like things, physical f forms, like, I really like, I, I also really liked, uh, as a ch already as a child, I, I liked uh, aer aerodynamic shapings, uh, like airplanes, like uh, spaceships, UFO, all that stuff. I've always been very inspired by that stuff. And colors, I really like colors. I like to play with contrast. It could be also like a t-shirt I see somewhere or a color combination of a girl's outfit or uh, a particular face, uh, beautiful eyes or like just a happening in my life, things that happen, also bad things, bad feelings, difficult situation I had that like touched myself and I put this into my painting. Like I just like to put my life in the paintings and just like live, live my life and live my art the same way I live my life, I live with my art and I just put my emotions in, in my paintings. What are your projects for the future? Well, my projects for the future are uh, in these times to survive. <laughs> <laughs> to survive and uh, yeah, keep going, the, uh, like working, painting, creating new stuff and especially like putting our times in the paintings. Thank you very much for this moment and I wish you all the best for the future. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you for the interview. <laughs>